So Samsung has three Galaxy S22 phones, the compact S22 and its larger S22 Plus sibling, and then the premium S22 Ultra model. And the larger the phone, the bigger the battery. But what is the real difference in battery life? Hey guys, Vic here with Phone Arena, back with another S22 series video, and I've been using the S22 Ultra for almost two weeks now, but I have to confess that I prefer smaller phones usually, but I've been enjoying using this one. Anyway, I was wondering if the tinier S22 or the S22 Plus might be a better fit for me. Still, I had to keep in mind that the S22 only has a 3700 mAh battery, the Plus has a 4500 mAh battery, and then the Ultra again has the advantage of the biggest 5000 mAh battery in the series. And you probably also already know that all three Galaxy S22 models come with the very same processor on the inside. However, the actual performance is not quite the same. Bigger phones have better cooling, and usually you get slightly faster speeds. So let's test this and kick this off with a quick run of the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, our go-to benchmark. So we have all three phones fully charged and we quickly set them up for this test, which takes around 1% of battery on all three models. And we finally kick it all off at 99% battery level on all three phones. And this benchmark is indeed extreme, as the name says, and it runs for 20 minutes straight, pushing the phones to their limit. But the reason we like it is because most processors have this initial burst of performance, but then quickly throttle, lose performance after just a few minutes. And the regular benchmark doesn't catch that throttling, which is actually what you will get in real life while playing a game, for example. So we let the benchmark run its course and below in the frame rate meter on each phone you can already see some differences in the FPS. So let's fast forward this and finally we check back right before the end of the benchmark where you can see that frame rates have dropped further from the beginning and all three phones have actually warmed up quite a bit. By the way, Samsung offers different processor settings and we have to say that we have run all three phones under the same default optimized power mode, which most people would be using anyway. And interestingly, we get some strange results on this benchmark. So in the first few runs, the S22 Ultra scored highest, just as you'd expect, with a first run score at around 2200 points. The small S22 is actually a bit slower at nearly 2050 points, again expected, but the Plus model for some reason got significantly lower score of around 1700 on the very first run. And we actually ran the same test on the Plus model three times. We got, we triple checked and got similar results every time. So we really wish we knew what happened here, but unfortunately we don't, you just get lower scores. Also interestingly notice that battery level has dropped to 89% on the S22 Ultra 89% on the Plus and 88% on the smaller S22. So you can see even in the beginning, the more compact S22 getting lower battery life just by a tiny bit, but still noticeable. All right, next up to see what kind of battery life you can expect for gaming, we fire up Call of Duty Mobile. And this game is so addictive, it's fun to play, so it makes it a perfect real life gaming test. So here's what I did next. Starting with the S22 Ultra, I made sure that the game has the same video settings on all three phones. Now, unfortunately, the only graphics option that I get for some reason is low graphics quality on all three S22 series phones, so that's what I'm using. And the rules are simple. I just play for exactly 30 minutes using the same account in the same 10 versus 10 multiplayer mode on each of the phones and then measure the battery drain. So after some shooting and killing, the 30 minutes on the S22 Ultra have expired and I leave it aside, immediately picking up the next phone, the S22 Plus and continuing from there. By the way, the Ultra did not heat up significantly with these settings on Call of Duty Mobile and everything was running quite smoothly, so I was happy with that. And I'm doing the same thing with the S22 Plus, 30 minutes of gaming and I'm telling you, this is a fun test and after 30 minutes, I finally leave the S22 Plus aside, picking up the more compact S22 model, doing the same thing, 30 minutes of multiplayer Call of Duty gaming over the same Wi-Fi network on all three phones. So to sum it up, what we have done since the beginning of this test is have the phones fully charged, then run one 20 minute benchmark, and then play 30 minutes of Call of Duty on each phone, with each phone sitting idle for about one hour total as I was playing on the other phones. And here are the battery levels that we got. 
So the smaller S22 is now at 78%, then the bigger S22 Plus model is at 80%, and finally the Ultra has 82% on the battery meter. And this means we got a 22% battery drain on the S22, a 20% battery drain on the Plus, and an 18% drain on the Ultra. So at least no crazy results here, you get what you expect and you can see that as you go with a larger phone you gain battery life. Now in comparison to other phones these results are just okay and once again confirm that neither of these phones is the battery champion you might have been hoping for. Even the S22 Ultra despite its giant 5000mAh battery does not last much longer than the Plus. And we'd say that's probably the one thing that Samsung could have done better with the S22 series. Now you will get through a regular day on all three phones easily, that's been tested, but if you start pushing them more you might need to top up quicker before the end of the day, especially so for this compact S22 model. So anyway, this will do it for this quick video, let us know what you want to see us test next on the S22 series. Is there something you're particularly interested in? And are you happy with how the S22 series turned out for Samsung? So anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subs to the channel would be awesome. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.